Hey guys, how's it going? And gals too. Cheers. If you're looking for a homebrew Wednesday video, this isn't it. <laughs> I'm not going to do one this week. Um, I'm going to do this instead because it's not really brew related. And so um, it kind of is, but I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent, if you don't mind. First of all, thank you for watching. And stick around. So I got a little bit of story for you, a little bit of something to talk about. First of all, though, I was rummaging under the stairs a couple of years ago, probably looking for my Christmas tree or something, getting something out from under there. And I found a long and forgotten steamed up because it's cold <laughs> bottle of wine that I made. And I remembered, I, I, and I remembered making this and I forgot all about it. I made this in 2006 and it was probably, it was back when um, I first started getting into making my own wine. And it was also right uh, the same year I actually started on YouTube. What I thought I would do is, um, there's even a chip in the bottle because it's been, who knows what's happened to it while well, it's been under the stairs all those years. But and I put it under the stairs and I thought, yeah, I'm going to save this. I'm going to put it away and see what happens when you age this stuff. Forgot about it. I was only going to age it a year. Two years ago, I found it. And I remembered, yeah, that's, there's that bottle. I remember that now. 2006, I started on YouTube. And I put this bottle of wine under the stairs. And so I got it and I thought, wait a minute. It's 2014. So that's eight years eight-year-old bottle of wine at the time when I found it and I thought no nope, I'm not gonna open it I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna open it on the 10-year anniversary of me being on YouTube but let's open this bo bottle up and um, see what we've got if we've got some balsamic vinegar or if we've got some white wine okay let's check it let's check it out got my little thing here this a whirl. Beautiful night actually out here. I hope I can open this with this. Okay, ready? Oh, there you go. I forgot the glass. Hang on a second. <laughs> This is home brewed wine. Sort of like a champagne-ish style glass here. Celebrating a little bit. There's always an excuse, isn't there, to celebrate with some little old home brew. That, whoops, ugh. Too much there, but that's okay. <laughs> ah, you could read a phone book through that. Cheers, 17. kids actually know what a phone book is. I was surprised. That's actually pretty good. That's actually very, very, very nice. And it's, it's, just, it's just a wine kit. It's a California connoisseur. That's amazing. And I'm going to put the camera on a stick and we'll talk more about this and more. Cheers to you guys. This is actually really, really smooth. Um, it, no, it's not. It doesn't taste like vinegar at all. It's actually very nice and very fresh, refreshing and very, very, not too sweet, but just enough. And it's good on this night. Oh, that's really good stuff. Homemade wine. You gotta love it. My backyard is a little bit in peril at the moment, but I don't care. I, you know what? I like it out here. There's some stuff we've got to get rid of, but it's quiet. It's nice. It's a beautiful night. And, uh, you can see our lilac. Ten years ago, this tree was, you know, a little tiny bush down there on the, on the ground. So that's what's happened in, in ten years. That's it. So, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> just joking. Um, I joined YouTube in 2006, and um, I really didn't know, like, what I was going to do with the channel. It was... Um, I saw it as a video archive means, uh, putting some of my 
treasured home videos online so that they would never get lost. And then I realized that maybe certain family members of mine wouldn't really want to be on the internet, or at the time it was still kind of, you know, people were still weird about being on. Now it's with Facebook and everything, everybody's just all over the place. But back then I decided, no, that's not a good thing. So eventually it was about a year later, 2007, when I decided to make a homebrew video. I think most of you have probably seen it. It's the one with the bum sweatshirt and the whole bit. And my famous black spatula, which I still have, by the way. I make eggs with that all the time. <laughs> was going to make like um, like a commemorative, like sort of, you know, video. I did that in five years at YouTube. I did one, made a video. I don't know. I just, something inside me just thought, you know, it's just too vain. I just want to thank everybody for all of the support and and all the views and things like that that have gone on in the last 10 years. Um, and I don't want to make a huge, really huge deal out of it really, except that I'm so thankful that it's happened, that something that I thought of, you know, literally standing in my kitchen in 2006, you know, 10 years ago has actually turned into something that I have that would would never uh, be without. And that is, you know, the ability to put videos out for you guys. It's been a really enlightening experience for me. I've met some incredibly nice people and I have experienced some really cool things. If you guys have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that um, you know I've changed over the last 10 years a little. I've gotten a little more comfortable in front of the camera. <laughs> a little. <laughs> I like being in front of a camera. I used to never want to be in front of the camera like this. I was always behind it, you know, filming stuff. And you wouldn't catch me in front of a camera to save your life. But here I am. And it's thanks to you guys that have given me the confidence to do this and continue to do it. I said I wasn't going to make a big deal out of this, but I did go ahead and work with TG T-shirts to design a limited edition T-shirt, a 10-year anniversary T-shirt that I will show a picture of it. Uh, these are currently available at TGT-shirts.com. I'm not going to, like, sit, stand here and act like Ron Popeil and try to sell this shirt. If you want one, they're only available f for a limited time. We don't, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep them up there for, but, um, you know, it is a 10-year anniversary shirt, and it's only a limited edition thing. So, uh, <laughs> get one. No, I'm just joking. It's there if you want it. And so I've never been try tried to uh, never push things upon people. Um I've tried to not push my music upon people. I do have songs that I've wrote years ago that are recorded and online for download for free at my website, craigfairway.com. If you like sort of adult contemporary style music, feel free to download them, share them, put them on your devices and play them in the car, whatever you want to do, give them to friends. They're free for now. They're free for now. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future, but I really... Um, had so much I wanted to say for this occasion yet I feel now that the camera is on I really don't really want to say much except thank you guys I want to focus on you not me and that's why I didn't want to make a video montage of the last 10 years because it's not all about me I mean sure I'm here and I do what I do and you guys some of you enjoy that the stuff I do but really the reason I'm still doing it is because of you so I figured I just focus on that I, first of all I mean when I started YouTube I didn't really know a lot about home brewing seriously I mean I could brew up a Cooper's with my hands tied behind my back in my sleep um, during a storm I mean you know whatever but I didn't know a lot about grains hops it's this experience that I've had on YouTube 
and the drive that I have felt from the viewers that has uh, allowed me to learn what I needed to learn to make better beer. And, you know, I still brew the Cooper's kits, but I now know how to brew all grain, mini mash, extract, partial extract, everything, you know, experiment, all that stuff. There's lots of things I haven't done. But most of the stuff that I have done in the past 10 years, especially the last eight, seven or eight, maybe six years, has been because it's been I've been asked to do it from you guys. Um, and so I've done it. And I've had the time of my life um, doing it and learned so much and have become have obtained the ability to actually help people brew, help people get started with home brewing, help people with their conundrums, their questions, um, and all that stuff. And I feel very satisfied with that. I just need to thank you guys. And this is seriously from the bottom of my heart. I tried to do this outside in the quiet during the night so that it was just an intimate setting and um, where I could just talk into this thing and hopefully show my appreciation for everything that you have done for me, all of you. Even though as of late, a lot of the videos are just, you know, as of sort of a vlog style thing, I don't brew all that often really. Um, I wish I could brew a beer every week and, and film it and put, put it on YouTube, and, but how boring would that be after like six weeks in a row? me brewing something like that. There's only so many ways to skin a cat. And yeah, I'm going to do more brewing. I've got more brewing videos scheduled. Some of them are already shot and I just have to edit them. Get a little bit behind sometimes. It's it's a labor of love, really, to tell you the honest truth. But it does take a lot of work to shoot videos, not necessarily ones like this, although I do sit and edit these things and cut stuff out. But when I do like a Craig's Kitchen or a brewing video or, or a singing one or, you know, those things take days to produce, you know, the, the way I think they should be done. Um, I've been videoing things since I was 18 years old, right? I'm 50 now. So, um, you know, video is my, my life. It's my lifeline. I've been doing video for in one shape, shape or form um, for most of my life. My motto in anything I do, really, most things that I do, is to keep it simple and simple is best i don't believe that videos need to have cheesy intros and all kinds of crazy effects and things like that i just think that you know if the content is there then you don't need to dress it up with things like that i'm a modest guy i don't i don't ever want to come across as some conceited bullshitter who needs to, you know, pull tactics and, you know, use smoke and mirrors to get viewers. It's not my goal. And there's been visitors. There's been people who have come to my abode and said visited. Um, and I've, I live a very simple life. I need to st I need to live a simple life because I stress over things too much too easily. So I keep things very simple as much as I can. Listen, I don't I don't pull any strings here. I don't use smoke and mirrors. I don't have this huge flamboyant editing process or anything like that. I just do this and um if people like it, great. Um if they don't, well, they there's, you know, YouTube's a huge place. There's other videos to be watched. You know, don't stick around. If you don't like my stuff, just go watch something else. You know, you know, was it a mistake for me to finally get in front of the camera and put myself out there on the public internet? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, you know, I've been asked a lot of you know intimate questions, personal questions, and whatnot. People want to know shit. I just don't answer certain things. I feel that I have certain areas of my life that I like to keep private, but for the most part, the respect that I've gotten from you, the viewers, um, has been top notch. 
and I appreciate that. Uh, I do. Um, This wouldn't have gone on for as long as it has without the support that I've received. And I'm not talking financial or gifts. I'm talking just the emotional support from the viewers, the comments that you leave down below, everything. Uh, the patronage that you've shown. Some of you have been around for years watching this stuff. And I ask myself why? Only you know the answer to that, if you've been doing that for this long. Good luck to you, thank you. <laughs> but I, I do it because I enjoy it, and if I have to do it, if it becomes, you know, a job, like a chore, where I think, oh, I'm make a video, it sucks, I got that, then I won't do it. But it doesn't get to that point, because even though making videos takes a lot of work and not just not necessarily these kind of videos but the ones I do like when I'm brewing or cooking or something like that they're a lot of work filming them editing setting them up making sure that everything's light the lighting is good the sound is good I mean I you know I have a, a I have a you know expectation when I make videos it has to be a certain quality or I won't post it on YouTube but then there's times when I just think Go in the backyard, turn on the halogen lights, put your camera on a stick and just film. Simple. Simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. Nothing does. So, I want to thank you guys. And um, as long as you continue to watch the videos and support the channel, I will be here to do whatever it is I do on here. And I, um, I cannot express enough my appreciation uh, to everything that's happened. People have stepped forward and done things for me um, that I just can't thank them enough for. You know, there's been people who have stepped forward and done artwork for me, and um, uh, you know, sweepers for my broadcast. I mean, I could sit here and name names, you know, all day or all night. <laughs> um, I'm going to get another glass of wine. Hang on a sec. Okay. The amount that I have learned um, from being on YouTube has been absolutely astounding. I mean, I've learned a lot about home brewing. You know, people think, oh, Craig came along and he taught everybody how to do. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the other way around, really. I just give back, that's all. What I learn, I give back. It's, it's been so amazing to, to be a part of this community. And, um, you know, we've got the 17 Brew Crew Forum. Um, you know, they gave me my own section on there, so if you want to get in touch with me and ask me a question, you can go right in, and that is really, really, I'm honored. I am. I'm honored. You know, people dropping off beers and stuff for me to taste, and they want me to review them and stuff. I'm just flattered. Extremely. And again, it's not, this video is not supposed to be I, 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 I. It's supposed to be you, 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 you. Not about me, but about you. So, I guess in closing... I want to thank everybody who has contributed to the channel and even just by watching this video you have contributed to the channel so thank you there's no way for me to show my gratitude um, I wish I could spread you know rainbows and sunshine all around and just make everybody you know realize how much I appreciate what you've done for me there's a certain um, passion that I have for making these videos and it has nothing to do with money or anything like that or gifts or whatever. Those things are nice and I appreciate those things immensely. But it, those were never things that I envisioned when I started the channel. I'm getting a little bit creeped out out here. I think I'm going to go in now. <laughs> That's just something. Something's crawling around over there. Anyway, um, some people make a living off of YouTube. 
um, and they have to create content and they have to make it work and they have to do certain things and they have to Twitter it and Instagram it and whatever the hell all those other things are, which I don't even use half of them. Because that's their livelihood. That's their bread and butter. For me, it's just about having fun. I don't want to be in a position to have to do that. It's then, then it becomes work and I don't want it to become work. I want it to stay fun. And that's what it's been, is fun. So um, here's to another 10 years on YouTube and I hope you guys stick around. If there's anything that you think I could do better, um, if you have any suggestions or something that I can improve upon, please post it down in the comments. Um, I will do my best. If you're here for the beer, I'm here for you. Keep on brewing that good beer. Go to 17brewcrew.com, ask questions, learn, have fun, brew good beer, all that stuff. If you're here for my, my music, my singing, or my cooking, things like that, those are things I love to do, and I will continue to make videos. I know I don't do enough of them, but I, I will try to make more cooking and singing videos. Uh, they're time consuming, that's all. Cooking is one thing. Filming you cook is another. It takes a long time to make a quality cooking video. So I miss the old traditional, you know, Julia Child style cooking videos. I miss those. Happy 10th year anniversary to me <laughs> on YouTube. And again, the shirts are available. TGTshirts.com, 10th anniversary shirts. I thank you again. And with that, I will raise a glass to you guys, not me, you guys. Cheers. 17.